Another type of control chart is the Individuals and Moving Range and Range Chart, or IMR-R chart. And the idea here is we want to be able to look at uh, both variation uh, within a subgroup and between subgroups. And so this is a little bit of like a combination of an XMR chart, uh, an Individuals and Moving Range chart, and an XBAR R chart. So here's some example of some data. And you can see we've got stuff selected here. So we come down to the QI macros, and we can go off and run an IMR R chart. Now, a standard X bar R chart would average these, each one of these rows, or uh, and so on. But it wouldn't tell you about variation between these, necessarily. And so what we want to do is actually get this whole thing, average that, and take the average and turn that into an individuals and moving range chart and also give us a range chart of the variation within here. And that's what the IMRR chart does for you. And so first it'll go off and draw our moving range chart. I'll just zoom through the titles here. And then it'll draw the range chart. And then it'll go ahead and draw the X chart. So this is actually in, in treating the averages of each one of those subgroups like an individual's value. And that will give us our individuals chart here, the moving range chart, and the range chart. The moving range shows variability between two samples, and the range chart shows the variability of each one of these subgroups. And so that's the within variation, this is the between variation, and there's the individuals chart of the averages. So that gives you some idea about how you can again delve into your data in new and interesting ways using the QI macros. Download a 30-day trial at qimacros.com.